Matthew 6.30 If then God so clothes the grass, which today is in the field and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? Anxiety is caused by the size of you in your mind versus the size of God in your mind. What does that mean? We said earlier it's either I or God. This is the whole issue. In Galatians 2.20 it says, It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Maybe you're dividing your mind in half because you're a respectable servant who loves God and so on. So you reserved half of your mind for yourself, for I, and the other half for God because you're special. Whereas there are people who have canceled God completely. There's no trace of him in their mind. So let's assume you're a very prudent servant and half of your mind is reserved for God. The fact of the matter is that the part of your mind belonging to I will cause you 100 worries. Meaning, even this ratio is not a solution because the part belonging to me, myself, and I will keep you from sleeping. The size of yourself, your thinking about yourself, your appearance, your health, your future. Did you do this, that, or the other thing, or did you forget to do it? All that falls under the category of me or I. Even if you're dedicated yourself to the life of service, also the proportion of people Maybe they have a quarter of your mind, the proportion of problems. All of that is part of the half reserved for I. What do you say we go in the following direction? In every area of our life, we decrease the part belonging to I to increase the part belonging to God. He must increase, I must decrease. John 3.30 It's all in your head. It all starts in here, in your head, not outside of you. Is God consuming 50% of your mind or 20% or is it 70%? All of this is proportionate to your degree of anxiety. If you bring God into every issue, both small and big, then we're done. Oh Lord, you own me. You own my work. You own my kids. You own my people. You own my world. And I'm just waiting for you to intervene. That's all. Do this and you've now become 1% of your mind. Perfect. Then you might find a person who put his service to God, which belongs to God, under the category of I. So the service is causing him anxiety. The service itself became a part of his worries. He put the service under his part of the mind, the part belonging to him. He's the one saying to do this or do that. Brother, this is God's work, not yours.